What is up, Star Seeds? It's Sid, and I am here with your May 2020 forecast. PSA, this is a timeless message, timeless tarot reading near the end, so there's timestamps if you want to fast forward to that. I apologize for the camera shaking. I'm pregnant and I'm not looking too hot right now, so I'm just keeping the camera on the cards today for you guys. But as always, I have your monthly astrological forecast. So we're going to get into these events that are happening where all the planetary bodies are moving into. And then we are going to get into what the cards have to say. Okay, so like I said, you can watch this video whenever. It doesn't matter what year you're watching this, what month. The message is always resonant for whenever you feel it's right to click on this. But I'm going to explain what's happening right now during May 2020. Okay, on May 5th, the first thing that really happens this month, the North Node retrogrades into Gemini. Okay, so right now the North Node is in retrograde, and on May 5th it is going to enter Gemini again. Then on May 7th, there is a full moon in Scorpio. Now, Scorpio is a very powerful sign, so this should be a very interesting full moon, okay? We just had a very powerful new moon on April 22nd in Taurus. So hopefully if you are manifesting anything, I definitely see this coming to light by May 7th during that full moon in Scorpio. Um, Scorpio is the sign of death and transformation, so that's awesome. On May 11th, a couple things happen. First off, Saturn retrograde starts. She's in Aquarius still. Um, and then Mercury enters Gemini that same day, okay? Mercury is in its home sign, baby. And then May 13th, a couple more things happen. Mars enters Pisces. And then Venus retrograde starts, okay? Venus is in Gemini right now. And then on May 14th, just the day after the Venus retrograde, Jupiter goes into retrograde, okay? Jupiter's in Cap, and we're going retrograde for a bit, baby. <laughs> on May 17th, Pallas retrogrades, okay? Pallas is in the wonderful sign of Aquarius, and she is retrograding. Now, if you don't know, Pallas is an asteroid that represents um, our thought process, okay? Kind of like how we deal with wisdom and just our thought process. So the fact that it's an Aquarius during this age of Aquarius is amazing. Well, she's going into retrograde a bit. This is going to make us kind of rethink some things in the middle of May. That should be interesting. So many things are going retrograde at once, okay? Don't know what's going to happen. On May 20th, of course, the sun is going to enter Gemini. And then May 22nd, we have a new moon in Gemini, which sounds lovely, okay? The sign of intelligence and communication. So hopefully we can all be smarter with that near the end of May. And then May 26th, Juno goes direct. Okay, Juno's in Libra. Um, it was retrograding for a bit, obviously, but goes back direct on the 26th. And if you don't know, Juno is the asteroid that represents, um, kind of our beliefs on marriage and partnerships, long-term commitment and how we feel about that. Okay. And then May 28th, Mercury enters Cancer. And that is it for the month of May. Okay. But... Don't miss out on June because at the very beginning of the month, lots of things happen, okay? On June 1st, Jupiter is quintiling Chiron, okay? Jupiter is in Cap, in retrograde still, like I said, and Chiron is in Aries still. And then June 2nd, Pallas, like I said, she's going in retrograde. On June 2nd, she actually goes back into Capricorn because... She really did just go into Aquarius not too long ago, um, and she's going to go back into Capricorn for a bit in the beginning of June. And June 3rd, Vesta enters Cancer, okay? Vesta entering Cancer is going to be very powerful. It's going to make us um, 
be more in touch with our emotions, I feel like, and be sweeter to people because Vesta represents our life force, what really keeps us going. And obviously Cancer is just a very watery sign, a very homey sign. So that is really going to probably change all of our moods a bit. And then on June 15th, oh, I'm sorry, June 5th, can't believe I messed that up. June 5th, there is a full moon lunar eclipse in Sag. So that is going to be awesome on June 5th. Like I said, this is the beginning of the month in June. So don't miss out on that. Really recommend you guys watch my June video because there is so much more that happened in the month of June. That was only the first five days of June. I just said so much. So... There is lots to happen in May, you guys, and May is just leading up to June. This summer, like all summers, is going to be full of transits, full of eclipses, and all of this wonderful, powerful, um, life-changing stuff is happening right now. You know, everything's happening in the world because of what's going on up in the sky and in the cosmos, and it's just us. It's up to us to remember that. Okay, I'm so out of breath, you guys. Um, I don't know if I want to show you the whole monthly spread of May 1st or if I want to go into the week by week. So we are going to go into the week by week first. That's what I've decided on. This is week one or group one. Week two or group two, week three, or group three, and week four, or group four. Don't worry, I'm going to zoom in on these. I'm so sorry, you guys, about the camera angle, but it's really all about the info, right? Okay, what I'd really like you to focus on, <laughs> sorry about my foot, is these spirit animals in the first tarot card. Any of these cards, um, pick a pile you really feel resonating it with. Um, I know I already flipped the cards over, but that's okay, you guys. It's not like we're really testing your intuition here, okay? It's not a pick a card, but it can be if you want it to be. If you feel, you know, one, two, three, or four is how your whole month of May is going to go, then by all means, resonate with that message. I'm just here to give you the messages that I got, okay? But I really do feel like for a lot of you, it's going to be week one, two, three, and four in May, you know? But I definitely see how these are four totally different groups of people and how one or two messages is going to resonate with one person. Okay? So we are just going to start up up here with week one or group one. And I'm going to read off the cards for you guys first. Okay? We have Torment in reverse. And this is the card that really shows me um, who you are, okay, and you've been through a lot, you guys are such an old soul, very powerful, and I love your energy, okay, um, torment is in reverse, so you're, you're overcoming this, don't see the torment card and be like, oh, oh my god, no, see that and know that I think of you as a warrior, okay, and look at your other cards as well, because this is definitely one of the most powerful weeks, so we have the moon next. The moon is emotions, unconscious, subconscious, and uncovering that, okay? We have the Lord card. Take charge with authority. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. We have the mature man. Time. And the black jaguar, okay? I said you are an old soul, and you got the old soul animal spirit oracle card, okay? You walk through life with confidence and grace. You have power from beyond the world. Focus on what you really want. You can create your dreams. You can create your own dreams, okay? With this time card, this is very important. This might be the most important one I put down just because it gives me this clarifier that yes, it is time for you to take charge. It's time for you to take back control of your life. This time card really goes with the Lord card, okay? And the free yourself card. Of course, all of them intertwine, but 
just know that you are this old soul and it's time for you to do whatever you feel called to do, even if it's a little weird, okay? With this card here, it makes me feel like it's definitely weird what you need to do and you might not want to do it because it's weird and because you're like so mature and you don't think of the world like that but just remember and realize that obviously you know you're right so go for it okay um over here week two or group two um Focus on this main card first, okay? I'm going to read them all off for you. But we have the medicine man first. And this is just a really clarifying card that makes me know you need to take time for yourself now more than any other group. If you're doing this by group one, group two, group three, <laughs> group one, group two, group three, group four, group two, you definitely have the most like love about your aura you are the most heart centered okay and it's time for you to take time for yourself and to continue to love yourself because you have so much love you're a person who needs love okay and even if you've gotten that you need more and that's okay okay um five of pentacles in reverse now, this can mean there is some money issues, and this can also mean that they are coming to an end, because I did get the message that a lot of people watching this video are going to get unexpected income, unexpected wealth. In group two, I really feel like that could be you, or you could be getting this in the second week of May. Um, also... There might be issues with work, okay? I know with quarantine right now, a lot of people are out of a job. But you can take this time to really work on yourself. Direction Guardian, choose your path, okay? Um, we also have another message over here, children. Your love life is being affected by children and expectation. I really feel like these cards go together. Now, whether you're a guy or a girl, you could be wanting kids right now. Or this can just mean that you really need to go back to how you felt as a child to choose your path, okay? You need the expectations of when you were a child to move on and really be this medicine man now, okay? We have faithfulness. You just need to keep pushing and whatever message comes through know that that's for you know that that's real and know that you need to cherish that okay and you have deer and I feel like the deer represents you um totally group two or week two um deer love be gentle with yourself you heal with the power of love See the light in all things. Acknowledge your self-worth and grace. Praise yourself, okay? Don't be afraid to. You're so amazing. I feel like you help and serve all these other people, but you need that for yourself now, okay? Moving on to week three or group three. Um, we have the daughter of fire first okay first off this is just kind of who you are as a person whether you are male or female okay you have this fiery energy you have the hierophant okay this is a powerful week or group right here however you wanted to watch this video it doesn't matter to me i'm just here to give the message i'm going to read off these cards okay you got great teacher Learn from spiritual experiences, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments and your future, okay? Doing what you're doing right now is going to bring you a very happy future. I feel like of all groups, you have the potential to get the most insight right now, okay? Groups, like... 
this one is similar to four and one honestly they're all pretty similar and all of these messages can be for one person as well but if you resonate with this third row especially you you are very gifted okay you have great fortune and I feel like in the third week you actually might get some great fortune because a lot of people are getting unexpected income okay we also have the card of Poseidon and the dolphin right next to each other I feel lots of um there's watery energy here but it's really more fiery because it's just so powerful if that makes sense there's just like a wave of power in you and I feel like you know this but you don't know what it is you know the extent to how powerful you are but you don't know what it is do you know what this symbol is do you know that this is the seed of life okay educate yourself on these things educate yourself on weird things you are like this weird Jesus deep down inside okay like both of these guys with long hair this dude too even they all look so similar and they just they remind me of like a Jesus like stereotypical looking dude I just I feel this great shaman inside of you okay so if you're not into spirituality already it's just a shame honestly and I really hope you get into it okay you got the card of dolphin play you're meant to explore all these options right now okay you have time to swim in the happy joy of living inhale confidence and exhale fear dive into your wisdom go with the flow dive deep into it okay that's pretty much all for you guys you already know what you need to do deep inside i'm just here to tell you yes you're right go do it okay week four or group number four first off we have the card of balance that says a lot okay um this is a this is probably the most powerful week okay they really all were powerful in their own ways but five of swords in reverse you guys um i feel like whatever turmoil you were going through it can come to an end you just you need to see from a higher perspective for that to happen like you you have this balance about you but admit all the chaos going on right now um it just might not seem like it yet but no you, you definitely have control over the situation more than anyone else you really do so you need to love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive, okay? It can make you this privileged lady. Um, <laughs> and if you look at all the weeks, because this is really like week one through four, um, these cards, the mature man, expectation, great fortune, and privileged lady, I feel like if you're watching this video, um, doing the week by week, by week by week, you know, you get what you want at the end of this. You see, the, privi the privileged lady is at the end. And of course, great fortune is great too if you just end off there. But by the end of May, you know, you have this balance. You have everything really, you know, the, the five of swords in reverse, you know. It's, it's all going to be good. You have Zeus, okay. This is also why I said, like, this is such a powerful spread, okay. Supremacy. Come on, you guys. Um, the dog card, notice, that's a wolf right there. Where do all dogs come from? You're the spirit of the wolf, okay? You're an amazing friend. Today, I will love without condition. My energy and enthusiasm are an inspiration. I choose to be happy. I am a protector and friend to everyone, okay? I got the message of like, children when I was reading that card for you too, okay? Like, you protect your children. If you're a parent, then I feel like you're really thriving right now. And I feel like your whole family, it's your responsibility to kind of awaken them right now. Damn, I'm getting all these messages. I got little Lily squeaking outside the door for me right now. 
but this is the week by week by week because I wanted to do that this month. This is the first time I've ever done that, but comment, tell me how you liked it, okay? And I do have a whole big thing for you guys, for everyone, not just some groups. It's for everyone for the month of May. And I'm sorry about the camera shaking again, but um, I'm gonna zoom in for you guys and read these off and explain. So first off, we have fear, okay? There is fear going on in the world right now. We have cougar, assertive, okay? I'm gonna get over this so I can read it better. In silence, you find power. Claim your leadership role and take action. You know where to go and what to do. You have the courage and confidence to succeed. You, my friend, just have to go out there and do it now, okay? We're all supposed to be sitting at home right now. Great. What can you do at home? A lot, a lot more than you think. All right? We have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now or just in your life in general. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Now, these are two very different messages right here. I feel like I didn't get the message first off if you didn't watch the week by week or, you know, group by group that a lot of people are getting unexpected income very soon, okay, in the month of May, probably, or whenever you feel called to watch this video. You have a chance of getting unexpected income, but it's not like it's just going to fall in your lap, honey. Like, you should manifest this. You should drink water <laughs> and tell your water that you are rich and there's no need to worry because you already have money coming. And then the universe will grant you with what you already know by giving it to you. Okay, that's how manifestation works, you guys. Also, I got the message that a lot of you could actually be finding your soulmate in May or beginning to attract them, okay? Now, like I said, there's this very powerful full moon in Scorpio um, early on in May. And if you were starting to manifest your soulmate during the Taurus new moon on April 22nd, I definitely see your manifestation coming to life. Now we have some tarot cards down here. We have, <laughs> okay, so I pulled this, like the Six of Cups, and then the wheel, and I'm like, damn, it's like the whole world. And then I pulled the world card, and I was like, damn, there's my clarifier. We got the world, the wheel, and the Six of Cups. Oh my gosh. You know, we are, we're going through it right now. We're dealing with these past emotions we're living in the past, and it's not working. So we need to change. And if you look at these cards under it, you can see that we can change, okay? It's not like we need to go back to normal when this is all over. Um, we need to change to be full. We have the life force to, okay? We have the willpower to still. So there's no need to worry. You see how this all comes together? It's very beautiful. <laughs> Sorry about the the motion, you guys. I'm gonna flip it again so you can see these ones down here for a second. But first, I'm gonna read off all of these because I felt called. I felt called to put 15 cards of the same deck down because it's a very interesting deck, and it goes with the whole general message. Okay, we have occupation, change, and do. You Diction. <laughs> True diction. Sorry, I have baby brain, so I need to like make sure I read the word right before I say it so I don't sound like an idiot, even though I just did. But occupation, change. That's common sense. Then we have judiction right up on top. And when I get to the bottom, that's going to make even more sense. And I'm going to let you guys interpret some of these for yourselves because they're very plain and simple. But don't let these ones worry you, okay? Message of concern, distant horizons in reverse, okay? The horizons are not so different. This change is not so far away, 
we can really do it if we have the courage. It's just, it's up to all of us, okay? The coffin is in reverse too. Do not let this card scare you, okay? The coffin is in reverse. And yes, you might be seeing some coffins lately, but that's, it's not for you. You're not going to die. No one you know is going to die. I mean, maybe, but <laughs> that's not what this message is saying. It's saying, don't worry. There is concern right now. Right under this message of concern, guess what? There's the concern card. <laughs> We've got both of them. We've got the bad health. We've got the community. There's bad health in the community right now, okay? There's coffins going around. But I really got the message that this community card, we need to stick to our communities. We need to strengthen our communities. And we will be okay. If we help one another, we're going to be okay. If we all get through this together, everyone you know that is willing to take your help, be there for them. Because we are going to get through this. Because of this weird situation that I'm just now foreseeing, okay? I laid these cards down, not today. It was actually yesterday and the day before that I worked on this. I did most of them two days ago. And then I actually added um, another deck that I really wanted to include um, yesterday. And so down here, it goes back to the judiction up top. This is what really clears up all of the confusion and the concern in the situation. It clears up the fear. And I don't know exactly what's going to happen. No one does. But I will tell you this. I pulled these cards and these six cards are way too connected to not mean something. So I had to show you guys them. Wealthy man. Thief. Courthouse official person, imprisonment, and then mature woman. Now, do not take this as there's going to be a woman president next. I don't know. Honestly, I don't... <laughs> Who knows? But the mature woman is, is not some woman you're thinking of right now. The mature woman is the mature feminine energy being put back into the masculine saving us it's the balance saving us okay down here there's some of the most important cards and i'm really glad i drew we have summer back in joy and light bask in joy and light i feel like in the summer we're gonna get back the joy and light though okay so i said it wrong but i really didn't say it wrong we get back our joy and light in summer okay I know the heat kills viruses, so people are thinking it's going to go away in the summer. I don't know for sure, but what I do know is that in the summer, you can expect beautiful things to happen, whether or not this is over or not. Magic Guardian. Unlock the magic within. Arrow. Surrender yourself with protection and energy. Medicine Guardian. Be open to healing information. He has the seed of life around him, too. I just want to point that out. And he just reminds me of a cute little earth guardian watching over us, okay? Like, I feel like all of these ETs are watching Earth right now in this moment of change, hoping we go through with it. You know, we have the seer, see beyond the current situation. We have star ancestor, which were all ancestors of stars. Follow the voice of your soul. I just got the message that your soul is like a vehicle, okay? You're traveling throughout the cosmos, life by life by life. And you chose to come to Earth, and you chose to be here during this time. So why the heck are you going to be anything but a freaking cougar right now. You need to take action. You need to be assertive. And you need to be the hermit to do that. Okay? If you aren't already. You need to retreat and recharge to get ready. Prepare for this, baby. Because it's happening. The shift is happening. Water guardian, connect with your emotions for this to work. Okay? Um... Instead of living in the past, Six of Cups, negatively, like so many of us 
have been, we need to transform into this beautiful water guardian and seer and hermit and remember that we're ancestors of the stars. Okay? Now, that was pretty much it. That was half hour. It was longer than I expected. But, um, tell me how you guys thought about the week by week by week. And next time I do it, hopefully I can do it less shaky for you. <laughs> um, love and light. And I hope you have a wonderful week, a wonderful month, Starseeds. I love you guys so much. Love and light. And the hybrid children are coming soon.